This is the latest in a series of videos that I've done regarding my comic art commissions. Um, I've titled this one New York Comic Con Kickstarter and Terrificon. Uh, Terrificon is the name of my, I'll call it my home show, my favorite show, which is uh, Connecticut Terrific Comic Con and we shorten it to Terrificon. Um, but what I have in front of me, in front of you, are two commissions. The first one here is Spider-Man by Stephen Butler. Stephen Butler has many professional mainstream comic art credits. Um... I have had him on my list to hopefully get a hold of for a while regarding a commission. And I had also been uh, hitting up on Kickstarter uh, for a while, looking for different comic projects to uh, invest in, to contribute to, and some of the tiers that you can contribute at. You can get yourself drawn into a comic. You get all the different... Um, versions of the comic and then you can also oftentimes get a commission by the artist well Stephen Butler was the artist on a Kickstarter project called John Amon Amazing Man and it's kind of a modern updating of a, um, a I believe it's like a public use character at this point and so uh, one of the tiers for $100 was a full-size 11 by 17 commission of any character you want. And they gave a few examples. Um, and so I was assuming I would get something with the circle because a lot of the examples had that for some background. Um, and uh, this, this has been going on for probably at least a year. The, the project has kind of... Uh, dragged along slowly good updates and all that stuff that you need to know but generally they put in a completion time an estimated completion time for the book or whatever project you're backing as well as any rewards you're getting well this kept going on and on and on but the uh the uh the the promoter the writer for the for the book and for the studio uh it just kind of, like I said, he kept giving updates. As long as you give an update, you let me know what's going on. We're okay. Well, yesterday, my commission arrived, and this is it. Um, it's everything I could have wanted. Uh, I, I basically told him, Spider-Man, um, either costume, classic or black, uh, with some kind of background, which would, you know, help. And if you could, maybe some type of web activity. That's kind of what I like. Um, and this is a, this regarding an 11 by 17, this is a good size image right in the middle. No, it does not fit the entire length and width, but rarely do you get something that's just like, you know, filling the page. But what you also have to appreciate is all the detail on the webbing and the detail on the webbing up here, the end of the webbing, as well as all the detail on the background and you can see you have the water tower you have the whole facade the cityscape it's good quality artwork drawn and inked by professional comic artist Stephen Butler um, I'm very happy to have this uh, it's a steal of a deal at $100, which also includes the books. Something like this usually goes for $250 if you're doing a, an at-home, a mail-away commission. So I'm very happy to have it. It's It's got that old, 
old school feel to it with a lot of the line shading that you see here and on the knees and not not today's um use use of color and shadow to just shade the whole thing there's actual when they're drawing it they go from black black and then they'll go to a line shading which gives you that that feel of less dark so it's it's kind of the way i like my spider-man he's a good quality spider-man he's not overly muscled and he's not overly uh thin so it's it's really good quality i'm really happy to have it and on the other one i'm showing this will be part of the new york comic-con aspect of this uh particular video uh one of the guests at new york comic-con was tom lyle I started getting back into comics in the early 90s. And uh, one of the ones that I picked up, I started back on Batman again. And I also was Robin, which was Tim, Tim Drake Robin, which is uh, the third Robin. Um, and then I followed him through his own book, and I, which I really enjoyed. But Tom Lyle, Tom Grummet, uh, those guys were, were the guys that I really enjoyed watching you know when you're reading a book it's not just a story sometimes you have to sometimes you have to kind of get used to art you're not really cool with but it's a good story well in this case the stories were great and the art was great um so a friend of mine happened to have passes for new york comic-con uh this year 2016 and he said hey do you want to go i got i got an extra pass for you i'm like hey, hey why not i mean i'm not a big new york comic-con guy it's just way too elbow to elbow for me but i figured what the heck so we get there and this friend of mine is a promoter and uh, a showrunner and owner of the uh, Connecticut Terrific Comic Con, Terrific Con, um, here and after referred to as Terrific Con. Um, and um, he was looking to get Tom Lyle for, uh, for his show. Um, I do not know specifically how that part all turned out, but... Um, uh, but anytime he's at a show, he's looking for, for people to get for his next show, which is in, uh, in August, it would be August of 2017. Um, and so he, he had arranged for Tom Lyle to do this full size piece, the full size 11 by 17 piece for me. Um, and he, he gifted me this piece because of, I help him at the show. Uh, I do some transportation of the, uh, of the artists. And so, you know, it, it just takes a little bit of the, the weight off of him for getting from, the airport to the show um and he apparently he appreciates it so he had tom lyle do this full-size robin piece for me so that was really great um i was there hopefully to get something from tom lyle which i did a smaller piece but we were delayed in leaving because tom lyle unbeknownst to me was finishing up this piece which he actually didn't finish so but but my guy couldn't tell me what was going on and so a couple weeks later at a different show, uh, he had uh, gotten hold of the piece and he, he had given it to me at that show. Um, but it is, it is it's a great Robin on a rooftop overlooking. He's got the, uh, he's got the bow staff with him. Um, uh, just the way I like my Robin, Tom Lyle. Tom Lyle, Tom Grummet, my two fra favorite Robin guys from the last, uh, what, 30 years now, 30 plus years. Um, so that's my, my Spidey. Stephen Butler Spider-Man and my Tom Lyle Robin um, and my uh, Kickstarter, New York Comic Con and Terrific Con. And if you haven't gone to Terrific Con, if you're in the Northeast, uh, this show rocks. It's at the Mohegan Sun. Uh, you can go to, uh, I believe it's ctcomiccon.com. It rocks. It's a great show. Plenty of people, but it's very well spaced out. And so you never feel too cramped. And it, it's right in the casino. And there's hotels outside of the casino. So that, you know, you don't have to stay at the casino hotel and spend a lot of money. Top flight guests. Everybody's nice. It's all well organized. Um, it's 95% it's comics and artists and writers with a a smattering of celebrities. Uh, it's really, it's a true Comic-Con. Um, a lot of cons are, are into the big celebrity uh, guests because of all the shows, all the comic shows. Um, there are so many of them, and people want to get things signed. Well, this is much more of a Comic-Con, 
and I'm not knocking those other ones. Um, whatever works. There are plenty of people who go to, uh, say, call them pop culture cons. Plenty of people. Um, and plenty of people enjoy them. But I love this type of show. Um, so if you're in the area, it's a little early to be pushing it. But Terrificon in August of 2017, you can go to ctcomiccon.com. He's on Twitter and Instagram and all that other social media stuff that I don't have anything to do with. Um, uh, check it out. It's worth a shot. And uh, thank you for watching. And thanks for uh, checking, checking out the art I have for you. And I will see you next time. Have a good day.